How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shinting and welcome back to the House of Fata Morgana, a Requiem for Innocence. Now, I was worried we were going to be getting to the end rather quickly because like happily ever after is like the last thing in this list. But then I remembered if we go back to the title that there's this gift section, which I think comes out after we finished everything else. So, uh, and, and, and some of you have assured me that there's more to do. So we're not quite to the end of this one yet, but yeah, we'll jump into it. Let's get back into it because we're going to start today happily ever after. I have no idea what this is, but I'm happy. I'm kind of guessing it might be a kind of prologue, which would be really cool. Like, like a look at the lives that they ended up reincarnating into when Morgana finally was able to like step past her, her anger and her grief. Uh, so I'm really curious to see if that's what it is. If not, obviously there's still a lot of other things to explore, and to, and like, everything in this has been interesting and a joy. Like I haven't been disappointed or, like kind of like meh, uh, kind of meh about anything in here. So like, I have no doubts it's going to be good, but hope you enjoy the so stick around and see how you like it. And of course, look forward to other stuff in the future. But yeah, let's just jump right in. God, that music, I can never get tired of the music. A tale beyond their happy end. Hey, yeah, so it is. All right. Michelle. Ugh, ugh. Mm. Ah! No going back to sleep today, Michelle. It's time, time. What's the time? What? Nine? We're meeting at ten. That was my second alarm, wasn't it? Out of bed now, no time to waste. How big of an oof would, would I look if I were late because I slept in? Normally, I'd have no problem waking up, but I had trouble falling asleep last night thanks to my nerves. What am I, a five-year-old? Breakfast, I can do without. I need to get dressed and cleaned up. Teeth brushed, checked. Hair brushed, check. Buttons lined up properly, check. Tag removed from my new shirt, check. Ooh, job interview, maybe? Room, a disaster. I was planning to clean it when I got up this morning. That's fine, though. It's not like I'm having her, inviting her over. Oh, it's a date. <clears throat> I shouldn't even be thinking about that on our first time out. Okay, all set. Here goes. Oh, I can already tell this is going to make my cheeks hurt. Happily ever after. I feel like I've heard this music before. There are memories. Memories ingrained in my soul. Were I to tell anyone, they might think I was mad. Or maybe that I'd been reading too many New Age self-help books. Or possibly even that I was a member of a shady cult. But in any event, it likely wouldn't give many people to a good impression of me. In my memory of the past life, the soul that was held in great regard at the church wielded nearly absolute power. But neither of those things were true of the present day. Hmm, the soul was held in great regard at the church and the church wheel didn't... Oh, right, so he's just reflecting on the time period. Gotcha. I was a little confused. I was like, is he saying he was? While people had more freedom, more choices, and more opportunities than ever before, there were things they had lost, no longer accepted. That the soul was real. That miracles actually happened. That there was still so much about the world we didn't know, didn't understand. People these days are simply not inclined to accept such truths. But I wasn't particularly troubled by that fact, the few uh, were likely to believe me. I didn't feel alone in my knowledge, because I wasn't. Oh, so- Ah, look at that! <laughs> because on that fateful day, we found each other again. She turned toward me, the very same Giselle from my memories. And just as I recognized her, she too knew exactly who I was. Hang on, hang on. I don't think I could. I used this as my thumbnail uh, for the last episode because it would have been a spoiler. But well, we're using it this time. <sighs> for the two of us to have memories, memories ingrained in our souls, and no longer did those memories serve as shackles. If I can just keep this up this pace, I should make it on right, it, it right on time. Thank goodness. He's so hungry. Please, for the love of all this holy, don't growl in front of her. 
In a turn of events that can only be described as miraculous, we were reunited after nearly a thousand years. It was the sort of dramatic moment you might see at the end of a movie or a novel, the point at which the story was finished and nothing more was needed to be told. I mean, that's true. But our lives continued on past that moment. An un uneventful, hardly noteworthy succession of days. Nothing particularly different from what you might find in any other random person you chose off the street. But it was that life, that little fistful of happiness we sought for so many years. We were just two ordinary people now. There's no drama or excitement in the tale that follows. Only a small slice of two regular lives. I'm so happy! <laughs> Nord. Nord. Nordstrom? Nordstrom Station? I think that's a thing, isn't it? And I'm guessing this is... Oh. Fer de Post? Yeah, this is still... This is France. It had only been about a week since our reunion. And while I would have loved to grab Giselle by the hand and take her home with me right then and there, I couldn't simply uproot her from her own life. Both of us were busier than we had been in the Middle Ages, myself with work and her with university. So after that, we quickly caught each, other, uh, caught each other up on our present life situations, exchanged contact information, and agreed to meet up the following week. I then walked her to the station, and that was the end of that, a rather underwhelmingly mundane conclusion to such a dramatic, tearful reunion. How crazy would that be? Oh my gosh, that'd be so bizarre! To be like meet someone and be like, I know exactly who you are. We both had a previous life together and were in love. Holy crap. Especially coming right after I'd said, I want to spend my days with you. With that smile always at my side and nothing to get on our way. Aww. Though I suppose I shouldn't have come to any surprise that reality wasn't as simple as fairy tales. That meant today would be our first chance to spend any real quality time together. Hence the butterflies in my stomach and having not gotten much sleep last night. By all accounts, I had no reason to be nervous. We knew ever each other better than perhaps two people ever should. But this was different. This was now. We weren't just in a new era. We'd been given entirely new lives. <sighs> Not a second late. Am I up here first? Thank goodness. I was. I was. Oh, I was. I. I, I pitched about too high. I want to start off on the right foot here, and keeping her waiting is not the way to do that. But thankfully, I. Ah, Michelle. Did not make it here before her. <laughs> Good morning. G Good morning, Giselle. Oh, look at him. Look at this style. I like how she's still kind of wearing something that almost looks like a maid outfit. He's looking, he's rocking that look. Whew. Are you feeling okay? You're red, red as a beet and you're breathing pretty heavily. Never felt better. Well enough to do a little running, in fact. He ran all the way here. There was no need for you to rush. <laughs> I didn't want... Uh, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Oh no, not at all. You're here right on time. I suspected you might show up early, so I wanted to be here at least five minutes beforehand. I suppose I did show up a bit early. When did you get here exactly? Uh, about five minutes ago, I think. Now the truth. <laughs> 9.30. She <laughs> was so early. That's way too early. I was just, you know, I was so eager to see you again. I'm sorry, I let myself get a bit too excited, didn't I? No, it's fine. I mean, I hardly slept for the same reason, so... Anyway, I'm sorry for making you wait so long. No worries. I spent the extra time in the cafe right there, and I couldn't have been happier. Happier about waiting? Absolutely. You can see the station's entrance through the cafe windows. As I was waiting there, get, uh, giddily imagining you out among the crowd looking for me. That 30 minutes went by before I even knew it. Is that so? Was... was that creepy? No, no. Not creepy at all. Just... Pointing it out though, creepy is creepy when it's not a mutual feeling. <laughs> Cause anyone sitting at a train station, uh, sitting at a cafe, looking out a train station window, watching for a particular person, if that person doesn't agree, know them or approve, it is creepy. So again, creepy and romantic are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> hmm. My heart may have skipped a beat. <sighs> 
And don't forget, I'm a pro when it comes to waiting. Half an hour may, be, may as well be half a second. I, uh, I'll still try to avoid keeping you waiting in the future. I'd appreciate that. So, what's the plan? You said you were going to choose where we went. Ah, uh, yeah. Today, today's schedule was all on me, at my own request. For one, I wanted to show her I could be more proactive than in the past, and for two, I wanted her to be just as just. I wanted to just be able to enjoy the day without worrying about anything else. Man of my heart, I'd be the same way. I don't really mind if other people plan stuff, but like I like having a plan, and I also like being able to build it in a way that helps me be, you know, peaceful with it. For me, I'm very organized and I, I don't like it when things go up in the air or become too unpredictable. Uh, I understand that unpredictability is a natural thing and so I tend to have backup plans and I also tend to make buffers between things where I assume that there will be some kind of delay or some kind of like something will catch my eye or just some kind of reason why it can't be like perfectly structured. Where you go like, I'm here at 9 o'clock, then I'm here at 11.30, and then I'm here at 2.12. Like, I can't do that. That's too specific. So I leave these big gaps, and I leave these backup plans and these sub-plans. So if something falls through, I have an idea of something else I want to do. That's how I tend to plan, especially like uh, a day or a uh, vacation. But I don't tell anybody any of this. Like, because it sounds very weird, and most people are like, that's a bit over the top. But like, it helps me be calm, and it helps me feel confident knowing that like, I can react to most any like issues that might arise or complications that might come up. I like feeling that gives me a sense of control and that's something I need. And I think Michelle is very similar in that vine vein. At least in the fact that he wants to like be proactive and he wants to be like I want my day to be relaxing. And that's why I like to plan things is mostly because it helps me feel relaxed while I'm trying to have fun. There's nothing worse than going on like a vacation or going out somewhere to like enjoy yourself and being stressed the entire time. And so by planning things out, I tend to avoid that issue. After all, this was our first date. Shall we start with a movie then? Oh, Michelle, come on, a movie? <sighs> oh, I like that idea. I haven't been to the cinema in a while, but it's just not the same as watching on TV at home. <laughs> I can't wait. I was afraid I might come off as too safe, but Giselle seems fond of the idea. Dude, she would she you could sit on the side of the road and watch people walking around for an hour and she'd probably be fine with that you two are absolutely in love like at that point like there's no you don't need to stress she'll be happy even you guys could be chased by bees and she'd find a way to enjoy herself with that thank you whoever intent invented movie theaters and thank you, whoever wrote that dating manual. <laughs> I don't know whose dating manual you're reading, buddy, but movies is a terrible first date. So, what are we going to see? Oh. Oh? Uh, what should we see? <laughs> oh, Michelle. <laughs> so you only decided on a movie and not a specific one, Michelle? I thought you wanted to go big, go because you had something in mind. Sorry, I was so focused on figuring out where to take you. Ugh, tripping two steps out of the gate. Oh, don't beat yourself up. It's fine. Finding something, you, something to see once you're there is fun too. Let's do that then. We'll go to one of the bigger theaters, something with a large selection. Perfect. Oh my gosh, what a goober. Yeah, they're definitely in Paris. I wonder if those are like, if this is one of those things where it's like a real picture that's been like painted over. Because if so, these would actually be real movies. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to see if I recognize any of them. Oddly, one of them looks like an Ice Age one, which would be hilarious if that's really what that is. I don't know. I don't watch enough movies to really be able to tell just from these, unless it was like something I was really familiar with already. Michelle, very, very silly question for you. Yes? Are you someone who gets popcorn at the theater? Well, she wasn't lying about how silly it was. It's not really that silly. That said, my empty stomach appreciates her bringing up the subject of food. Michelle? 
Right. Not usually. I prefer to focus on the movie. Oh, really? I like to have a bag to munch on while I'm watching personally. By all means. It's not going to bother you hearing me crunch in your ear? No. Particularly no. Not particularly no. If it were anyone else, then maybe. <laughs> I'm in a popcorn mood today myself, so I'll get a bag as well. Can't fight this hunger any longer. <laughs> oh? All right. Then we'll get one salted and one sweetened. Ooh, the ticket counter's open. Have you decided what we're seeing? Is there anything you'd like to see? I was thinking you could choose. Michelle, you asked to plan this! Hmm, I want you to decide, Michelle. I'm curious to see what kind of movie you pick. Uh, I see. Well then. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Naughty! <laughs> As funny as that is, I'm gonna. Tr I want to. I, I always play these games fairly seriously. As hilarious as that would be, like no. Animated. <sighs> I mean, if the animated is Ice Age, that's a terrible choice. Horror. I feel like they've had an eternity worth of horror. Romance is cute. Action is safe. Hmm. I think a romance. How about this one? Ooh, the poster, the title. Everything about it oozes sappy romance. This was the last movie I would have expected you to pick, Michelle. Is this something you actually want to watch? You didn't just choose it for me, right? I did choose it for you. I have no particular objections to this movie. Although I'm not especially interested in it either. Oh, I know. You just want to see the lead actress naked. That was the naughty one! I beg your pardon? I mean, it is a romantic movie. Is that an important part of a romance? M maybe so, but I don't appreciate you making it sound like I'm just a horny teenage boy. Hmm. Well, if that's not what you choose, I'm stumped. What kind of person does she think I am? I, uh, I simply thought it would be more appropriate for a date than, say, a horror film or a thriller. And crucially, it's the kind of movie I can only watch with you. Yeah, the audience does tend to be to be groups of women or couples. It would be pretty awkward going it alone, huh? That's not what I meant at all. I was just con concerned with uh, concerned with helping set the mood. But whatever, I suppose. Well, you can rest easy today, Michelle. Now you get to be the guy everyone's jealous of walking in a sappy chick flick with a pretty girl on your arm. It's true. I mean, come on. Giselle is freaking gorgeous. And she's just a good personality. You can stop cursing every couple you walk past now. What are you, acting like I'm some kind of sad, lonely loser? You sure look the part. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll go get the tickets. I won't be long. I I'm coming with you. I'd at least pay like to pay for... No, please allow me, if you would. Okay. Um, I... Thank you. Ah, that was wonderful. I can't stop thinking about the ending when they finally got together. I cried all the way through the credits and then some. I'm impressed with how well you held yourself together, Michelle. Well, you know... It wasn't so much a matter of me holding myself together as me being so focused on her, I had to pay attention to the movie. <laughs> yes! Yes! Absolutely has happened to me before. Uh, although, there's something almost better than that. Being like so focused on like a date, which is absolutely happened. happened a couple times where you're so focused on a date, especially like the first time you hold hands. Like if you do that, because like going to a movie is not a great first date, but it can be a great ter first time for people to like do the whole, whole hand holding thing since you're sitting next to each other for an extended period of time in a dark place where you know like it's like you can breach it you can make the attempt and it's like it doesn't work out you don't like you don't have to, you don't feel embarrassed because someone might have seen that like it didn't work out so like it feels like a safe place to try oh gosh <laughs> i'm remembering so many days <laughs> but there's one thing I say is superior than like being so focused on a date that you can't you for you totally miss like the entire movie, and that's when you watch a movie with a crush or or a significant other, 
that you both love so much that you know so well that you can quote the movie to each other and you do it like as fun like playing off each other like there was one time one of my favorite memories it wasn't even like a date it was just kind of like we were spending time together and then we were like we realized that we both really liked the same uh, animated movie it was uh, treasure planet which is an underrated disney movie uh we watched that together and it turned out we both thought it was one of our favorites and i and funnily enough so our they each had our favorite character and the two characters that we both really liked actually end up together at the end um she really liked the like pragmatic captain the the cat creature captain but just her personality fantastic and the, and the voice actor was amazing and i always really liked like the goofy um astronomy like uh like astronomy like doctor like science guy because he like he studied planets and and uh, space structures stuff that i'm really fascinated about and like he's knowledgeable but also kind of like clumsy and uh naive which is so much like me especially back then and so like but we knew the lines so well we could like quote them and at the same time but like as the characters said them it was the similar inflections so it was almost like we were in a in, like we were acting as voice actors for the movie while the movie was playing out it was really fun so it turned into like it wasn't an official date like hey let's go on a date together kind of a thing but it became one of my favorite memories of a date activity because it was something that only that we really shared that like i don't think we could have shared with anybody else so it was just really cool very memorable I spent the whole time thinking about how maybe I should try to hold her hand or something. You should have! I mean, normally a first date that'd be a bit fast, but come on, it's you and Giselle. Like, you could go for it. She would love that. I have no idea what that movie was even about. And I didn't even manage to do that. I'm hopeless. Oh, Michelle? Oh, yeah, right. It was a wonderful movie. I, it was. So tell me, what was your favorite scene, Michelle? Of course. What? Uh, I... What was yours, Giselle? It's a tough choice, but I'd have to go with the part where the girl's about to fall into a pit of lava and the guy risks death to save her. What the heck of a kind of a movie was that? Ah, uh, yeah, I agree. That part had me on the edge of my seat. You don't remember a thing about the movie, do you, Michelle? <laughs> she made it up! Huh? Why on earth would there be any lava pits? I swear, you were distracted the whole time. Sorry. I was right, wasn't I? You don't like romantic movies very much. I wanted you to pick something you would like, not force yourself to sit through something just for me. It's not that I don't like them, just... Next time, we'll see something more to your tastes. Maybe a movie about a serial killer that targets couples. <laughs> what do you think I have some kind of grudge against couples? I mean, you look the part. I probably deserve that, but still. All right, what's next on the agenda? I was thinking we could go to a cafe nearby and relax. Or maybe a park, the weather is quite nice. Let's go to the park then. I brought lunch for us. Oh, you did. Does that mess up your plans? Oh no, not at all, I'm thrilled. Yeah, I'd be like, that's an upgrade! I, uh, love your cooking. Thank you. <laughs> This'll be the first time we've had it in a millennium, had it in a millennium, huh? Not something you hear every day. Now, this sounds like a good first date. Uh, oh my gosh, look at the scenery. Oh. Dude. Yeah, A plus for a date. Oh, I just realized. Hmm. Are you all right spending so much time outside? You're still sensitive to sunlight, aren't you? Sorry, I should have asked you sooner, but it completely slipped my mind. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'm fine. A lot of progress has been made in the last thousand years. My doctor is using sunscreen, special sunscreen, and I make sure to keep a pair of sunglasses on me at all times. While it does still cause me slight inconveniences, the difference between before is night and day. I'm so glad to hear that. I like this spot. There's certainly a lot of people here. I thought, though I suppose it is the weekend. Looking out the beautiful scenery, everyone's just quietly enjoying themselves. Life is good, wouldn't you say? Look at them. You can even nap here. The weather is great. I can hardly blame them. <laughs> Would you like to join the fun after we eat? My lap is yours for the napping. Dude, if you don't take her up on this, 
You will have failed. She's literally offering you her lap. You better do it. Come on, Michelle. I know she's probably start, like being like 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 teasing you, but you know, call her out. What? Well, I would ab love absolutely nothing more, but I don't want to answer too quickly and come off as a clingy or creepy. Plus, I feel like it would be rude to sleep on a first date. Let's spread out the blanket and have lunch then, shall we? I made an assortment of sandwiches. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. No, you bring it up later. Thank you very much. The sandwiches were delicious. Oh no, it was my pleasure. I'd love to make you something a little more hearty next time. You'll have to come over sometime. I'd be happy to, but don't you live with your family? Would that make it too awkward? I'll wear my best suit and bear a gift. <laughs> that would just make it even more awkward. My mom and sister are relaxed, friendly girls. Make yourself right at home. And your father? I know he passed away when she was young in our previous lives. Oh, my dad. I guess it's the same this time around. Oh god, I forgot about him. He's always like, if you bring a guy home, make sure I'll make sure he never comes back again. Right, I'm glad I hear he's alive and well. He's a bit overprotective. I don't think he actually means it though. I'll have to meet them eventually. So I'll make sure to, I'm ready for anything. She flat flat said like, I mean, eventually like they're gonna be family for me. Like he's practically just stating outright that he wants them to get married. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how are your parents, Michelle? They're doing fine. They live in the suburb not far from here. I go back to visit occasionally. Oh, neat. Sounds like things are pretty different for both of us this time around. Out of curiosity, are your parents Lady Lyle and Lord Antonin? I don't think the Lord and Lady is necessary. Ah, force of habit. But no, they're not my parents this time. And ever since my memories came back, I've had the odd moment of disassociation where my life doesn't feel like it belongs to me. Oh yeah, that's happened to me a few times too. Same thing, some things are the same as before, but a lot's changed. Sometimes memories of my old family come back to me and I start wishing I could see them again. Tell me. Hmm? Am I any different? Uh... I am, aren't I? I can't possibly be the same person I was back then. I have a different family, different values. I was raised in a different environment. The same could be said of me. I have led a very different life than my previous one. I've read that we're always changing. That we're never exactly the same person we were even a second ago. Oh? Cells are constantly dying and dividing. Around 10% of the bone tissue in your body is replaced every year. I can hardly be considered the same man I was a few years ago, never mind an enti entirely different life. I guess. And that's just on the physiological level. The mind is the same way. I didn't think and feel the same way as a child as I do now. We are, in essence, in a perpetual state of transformation. I still think of you as the same Michelle, though. And I you. That's all there is to it. While scientifically speaking, we may be constantly changing, we're still able to recognize each other as each other. And perhaps that is the nature of the soul. I love that Giselle of a second ago, and the Giselle of the present, and the Giselle of every second to come all of one. <sighs> Dude. Dude, I'm just a bystander, and that made my heart skip a beat. Holy crap! <laughs> I, I, uh, me too. Now that is something the old Michelle would never have said. Could never have said, I imagine. Jeez, you, you caught me off guard, and now I'm all flustered. I can refrain in the future if you would prefer. No, 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 don't ever think about it. Tell me more. I want to hear more. I'll see what I can do. Why kill the mood, Captain Awkward? Putting pressure on me like that isn't making this any easier. <laughs> you really aren't all that different, are you? Probably not. 
I still sometimes wonder, and maybe this is all a dream. I honestly wasn't sure we would ever cross paths, that we would ever have this reunion. I even questioned whether anything I remembered was true. Maybe I was just delusional. No one believes in reincarnation or past lives today, so it was sometimes hard to believe it myself, you know? That's not true, actually. I think a lot of people think reincarnation is real, or at least possibly real. <sighs> it's a lot tougher to pin down. <laughs> and I'm not going to be making any claims here, just because it's one of those things where, like, I'm still trying to figure out what I think about, like, what eternity really means in general. Like, I know and believe some things, but I'm doubt- and I'm skeptical of other things. But I don't judge people for having said beliefs, regardless of which way they swing. But there's a lot to be commended about the idea of a reincarnation, if there is something that's internal about us. Reincarnation is one of the, I think, the more likely, like, actual results. But I'm not sure if I believe that in general either. I think a multiverse is very likely as well, but I don't know how tied we are to that. Like, there's a lot of fanciful stuff about it in, like, you know, various stories, but I really doubt we can access the multiverse in any way, though part of me thinks that there are realities out there that are slightly different. It just feels like there is something more, you know, than just, like, pure mundanity. Whether it's religious or not is the question, but... I think that there's a scientific explanation for pretty much everything. And that the idea of things like reincarnation or um, multi like dimensional theory, I think there would I think if they exist, there is some kind of scientific way that we could eventually discover whether or not it's true. But I don't know if that's really what's important. Simply something to think about. But still, you came looking. For as much as I couldn't believe. I wanted to believe ten times more. That our time together, that the things I felt, that everything that took place in that mansion wasn't just my delusion. And I'm so glad I did. As am I. I felt much the same way. I thought I was confused, my mind playing tricks on me, but as time passed, the fog slowly cleared. I felt a strange certainty that I would find you if I went there. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> I wonder what everyone else is up to. Everyone else? I mean, we're here, so it wouldn't be that strange if everyone else that was trapped in the mansion were too. On my way to go see you that day, I actually ran into someone who we might have known. Oh? A man with wavy hair lost his hat in the wind, and I picked it up for him. When he saw me, he asked if we had met before. And the way he talked, it sounded like he was looking for someone. Huh. Do you... do you want to maybe see if we can find them? And do what? I don't know. Have a class reunion. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand year reunion would be quite the unusual event. I wouldn't mind seeing them, although I don't think we should go out of our way looking. They have their own lives now, much like we ours. We're free from the shackles that once bound us, and we should continue to be free to walk our own paths. Yeah, you're right. Though I do kind of hope we do run into each other sometime. If we do, that simply means we were traveling intersecting paths. I like the sound of that. The hand of fate guides us. Indeed. Though to tell you the truth, until recently, I didn't believe in fate or miracles or souls. Anything that couldn't be demonstrated by science. Oh, you didn't. Well, I guess that's normal in this day and age. But now I've experienced it for myself, I can no longer not believe. <laughs> it would be hard not to. Michelle? I know I just said we shouldn't go out of our way to look for anyone. But there is one person I would like to find. Oh, I know. Your brothers. I said one person. Though I would like to see them, too. I was referring to her. She's the one I would want to look for, too. But if I remember correctly, she didn't let herself reincarnate. She simply kind of became an observer. I promised her that when we met again, we would be friends. I'd like- I'd like that too. To see her again. To be friends. And to put a smile on her face. Well, I think we've done enough relaxing to last all week. 
What's next on the schedule? I mean, I wouldn't mind staying here all day if that's what you want. I was thinking we could head into town, maybe do some window shopping. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> was there something funny about that? Just who would have thought the day would come when you would suggest we go out on the town together? I, I wasn't holed up in there because I wanted to be. If things were different, I would have no problem going outside. If you say so, Michelle. <sighs> Just because I'm a hermit! <laughs> Ooh, a bookstore. Ooh, speaking of books. Hmm. Have we ever thought about writing anything, Michelle? Write a novel? Why would I? We've had some rather unique experiences, and I thought they might see make a good book. First of all, I have the writing ability of a seventh grader. Oh, that's surprising. Do I look like the writing type? You're smart. It seems like something you'd be good at. I would probably be a much better conversationalist if I were any good with words. I wasn't actually sure if you realized how bad you were at that. I can assure you, I'm well aware. <laughs> but you know, being able to express yourself verbally and on paper are two completely different set of skills. It may take you an hour to come up with exactly the right words to use, but writing doesn't have a time limit. Regardless, I don't think I could write about that. How about you? I suspect you might have a better, better fit for the job. What? Me? Hmm. I don't think I'd make a very good writer either. And this is going to sound silly coming from me, as the one who suggested it, but I think I might be best for keep our memories to ourselves. Ah. Uh. Putting something so personal, so special like that out there for all the world to see makes the kind of makes it lose a little bit of magic, you know? I agree with you wholeheartedly. And so much of those experiences, I could never put into words, no matter what I thought of my own writing ability. Nor am I interested in putting them on display. They're precious in part because they are our experiences, and I would like to keep it that way. Yeah. Well, it sounds like we're in agreement, so next topic. We should buy something while we're here. Then we can sit shoulder to shoulder on a sofa and read together. Aww. I, I have no objections. However, it might be best to buy separately so we each have something we can enjoy. One book. One couch. A trip down memory lane. P pardon, pardon. You remember the time we sat by the fireplace together, reading from the same book? You were so stiff and cold. That was before we had fallen in love, even. But that was right about the time we started getting closer. Or do you not remember? Of course I do. I remember that day crystal clear. I hated up. I heated up some awfully awful wine on the fire, and we made ourselves nice and warm and read a book of adventure stories. As I recall, I was not yet especially kind to you at that point in time. Although I still consider it a happy memory. <laughs> in that case, how about we look for something nice and old to spark some more of those memories? Yes, let's. I'd, exp I'd, I'd, I'd say Les Miserables would be an interesting, long book. It meant lots of snuggle time, but in a fantastic read as well. I can't believe the sun's already set. Why can't there be more time in the day? Your parents will probably be worried if you're out much longer. Let me walk you to the station. Hmm. Giselle. Give me three seconds. That's her phone. I presume she's calling home. Ah, uh, hey, Mom. I'm out with a couple friends, and you'll never guess what happened. We ran into a few girls I haven't seen since high school. Holy crap. Oh, uh, is she doing what I think she's doing? We're going to be staying the night at one of their houses so we can catch up. I'll be back sometime tomorrow. Yep, I've got everything. See you. <laughs> I feel Michelle would be like screaming internally, but like, Oh gosh, it's happening! Well, you heard me. Uh, are you sure about this? Uh, do you lie to your mother like that all the time? I just haven't told her I have a boyfriend yet. I don't have time to have that conversation with her tonight. Unless you don't want there to be it tonight. I, I didn't think you were the lying type. I can be bad girl if I feel like it. 
She believed me without a second thought because I'm normally so well behaved. I've never given her a reason not to trust me. Yeah. The best liars are the ones that almost never do it. <laughs> Until they need to. <sighs> if this had happened to me, like if this was like the girl I loved, and like this is one of our early dates, and she did this, like my heart would be like coughing. I'd be like trying to beat out my chest. I would hardly be able to speak. I'd be like, that's the one thing. I'm pretty like articulate most of the time. I can think of things and come up to them and kind of speak without having too many like errs, odds, or delays, which is one of the things I think makes me decent at doing YouTube content is the fact that I don't often have too many deflections in my speech and I don't have to cut out too much because I don't struggle to think of things to say. But I have to tell you, every time I've dated somebody whom I was head over heels for, I would get so tongue-tied. It was like one of my greatest strengths would just become a weakness all of a sudden. I'm amazed I was able to date people at all, but in hindsight, maybe it's something that people would find endearing because they knew that it would be something unique to me, that it was something that wasn't the case most of the time. And I don't know if that's true, but if I had a partner who did that, I would find it charming. So it's not too hard to believe that they found it appealing, at least in some way. But yeah, I'd be like, <sighs> I'd be like, yeah, but I wouldn't say like, like, I, like, like you lie to your mother. I'd be like, is it, are, are you sure? <laughs> I'd be like, is this really happening? Like, pinch me. <laughs> and you're sure about this. Would you rather I go home? I never said that. It's just, we have plenty of time ahead of us. There's no need to rush anything. I tried to hide it, and probably not done the best job of it, but I've been over the moon all day today. And who wouldn't be? I finally reunited with the man I spent an eternity waiting for. And today's the first day I get to spend any real time with him. It might seem like we have all the time in the world, but you never know what might be waiting around the corner. We've both experienced the real that reality firsthand. She's got a great point, man. Are you not as excited as me, Michelle? Have I been getting myself worked up over this by, all by myself like an idiot? Was I alone in thinking that this would be the most important day of my life? How could you not answer that positively? But of course not. No, of course not. When I saw you last week, the last thing I wanted to do was let you go home. I wanted to carry you back with me right then and there. But I didn't want to put you in a position where I was forcing you to uproot your own life, possibly getting in the way of your education. If any time called for a little pushiness, that was it. Yes, this was this an ordinary date, but it's a miracle it even happened. I'm sorry. I want to spend as much time with you as I can, Giselle. Will you stay with me? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and there's another thing that's not changed about you, Michelle. You learned some basic social skills like reading between the lines. You act like I wouldn't have been able to figure out what you wanted me to say back then. Okay, you're right. I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> I didn't think you'd concede that one. <laughs> anyway, um, what now? Shall we find a restaurant and have supper? Remember what I said about being pushy? Now's the time. What meaning? You're going to make me spit it out for you. I want you to... To kiss her, you fool! To, uh, you know, take me to your... Ah! Oh, 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 of course! I would love to take you back to my... Crap. Huh? It's still a complete mess. But if I bring her to a hotel to look like I'm all... Uh, that's all I'm in for. I just need to ask her to wait a little bit to buy me enough time to at least make it look like a tornado didn't just pass through. Michelle? Oh, let me guess. Your place isn't presentable. Uh, well, that might be putting it lightly. How many naughty posters do you have? Not a one. What about blow-up dolls? Fetch! <laughs> even fewer! What do you even think I am? You don't need to hide anything from me, Michelle. No matter how strange your fetishes are, I promise I won't judge <laughs> <laughs> How could you not love the Giselle? She's like the perfect woman. I love the old Michelle, and I love the new Michelle all as one. Oh, I didn't expect my de declaration of love in the park to be turned around and be quite like this. 
I swear, there's nothing weird about my place. I've just been so busy with work lately, I haven't had a chance to clean, so it's a bit of a wreck. Oh, pfft. Well, if that's all there is, I'm glad they help you make it sparkle. No, no, I'm not bringing you over to have you clean for me. Please, give me like 30 minutes, you can... Nope. What? I'm not spearheading, spending 30 minutes, even 30 seconds away from you just because your place is a little messy. If she throws out plus, I would have made for a thousand years. I can clean. <laughs> it won't be long, I swear. No, doesn't mean not long. It means no. I lied to my mom so I could have time with you. And think about it. I wouldn't be better. For, wouldn't it be better for both of us so I could see you as you are, not as you want how you want to look for me? To help pave the way for our future. Ugh! Again! I'm just getting caught in the blast radius and it's like overpowering. Ugh. <laughs> She's gonna have me under her thumb for the rest of my life, isn't she? Off we go then. First some groceries, then back to your place. Off we go. <laughs> He's like, oh gosh! <laughs> and here we are. I said I wouldn't judge you, but I don't think I can keep that promise. What I tell you. All right, time to roll up our sleeves and make this place shine. Oh. Uh, oh, you know, this kind of reminds me of a thousand years ago. Here's hoping I don't suffocate in a cloud of dust this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now it cleans up. Whew. See, that didn't take too long between the two of us. I apologize for making it take any of your time. Oh, don't be really. I'm mostly glad it didn't turn out to be a bunch of gross rotting food. Swarming with bugs would be the bridge too far, I think. And I can tell you've been busy from the thick books and stacks of papers. Thin, re thin reference manuals or document stacks are rarity. I try to keep as much of it digitally as I can, but a lot of these paper reports aren't available in any other format. You're a systems engineer, was it? That's right. I was working at a company until a few years back, but I've been keeping steady work on as a contractor lately. Wow. Hmm. I'm amazed. The Michelle I knew would, would would cower at the sound of the word work. I would have hardly have survived three days on his own. Ugh. You know, before I found you, I assumed you'd been a noble like last time. So you assumed I was a helpless shut-in. And, uh, and boy, am I glad it didn't turn out to be a King Need again. I'm glad to have not disappointed you. <laughs> it's a nice word to throw in there, neat. <laughs> I also kind of suspected you would end up making video games. <laughs> I hardly even play games. What even what gave you that idea? I'm not sure. Visions of a parallel universe, maybe, perhaps? I'm not even gonna ask. What about you? Do you have a dream job, Giselle? I want to open a shop. Maybe it's because I came from a merchant family in my last life, but I've always been interested in running some kind of store. I'm even majoring in economics. Huh, I like that idea. If I do manage to get something up and running, I hope you'll help out. Absolutely. I'll do anything if it leads to a brighter future with you. Ah. Okay, well, I'm going to borrow your kitchen for a bit. Is there anything I can help with? You made lunch, too, so I'd feel awful doing nothing. Uh, last I checked, you and your cooking were a dangerous mix. I'd like to think my taste buds are a little more refined this time around. Hopefully. In that case, I think I'll have you chop the veggies. But I'm the one who puts everything together, okay? She doesn't believe me. <laughs> she might have seen what's in your fridge. Ah, <sighs> I'm stuffed. It was wonderful, thank you. Watching your work is like watching someone perform magic. Oh, was I doing something funny you didn't tell me about? No, that's not what I meant. Just the way you managed to make everything so perfect without even looking at a recipe. Well, cooking is kind of a hobby of mine. But, I'd lo but I, lo I, I lost a bit of preparation time to cleaning, so I couldn't make everything I wanted to. Next time I'll make you something really fancy, though. Like a roast chicken. Let's save that one for Christmas. I don't think what, when we have it makes the slightest, less, less, makes the sight of just the two of us sitting around a large roast chicken any less luxurious, though. Ludicrous, though. Oh, yes. Shall we open the wine now? So you only brought me home so you could get me drunk and have your way with me. I'm just kidding. Only consensually. <laughs> he doesn't even deny it. He's like, 
I'm, he's like, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Let's have some wine, shall we? <laughs> I never said I wasn't okay with it. <laughs> oh, I love these two so much. Oh, this is this is still a ways out, but I but, but I thought I would mention I'm going to be moving sometime next year. Oh, but this is a perfectly fine apartment. I mentioned my parents live in the suburbs a little ways from here, right? Well, they're planning to buy a new house soon, so I'll be taking over their old place. No point in letting it sit, sit unused, I figure. Wow. Is your family rich, then? Not extravagantly wealthy or anything, but reasonably well off. Looks like nobility runs in your blood after all. That's the literal definition, yes, but I don't think that's how it works. Anyway, it's bigger than here. So I was hoping you could come join me once things settle down at school. Fat. <laughs> You're asking me to move in with you? I am. <laughs> Absolutely, I'd love to. In fact, I was planning to start bringing stuff over here soon anyway. I didn't think you'd be the one to ask me. I figure it doesn't hurt to be pushy every now and then. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me know when you have the date. I'll, sell, I'll help with the move. Certainly. I'm quite looking forward to it as well. I do think they need to have pretenses up because if they go as fast as they want to, like their families are going to freak out. Thank you for letting me use your shower, Michelle. And your clothes. No problem. Although they are rather big on you. If a little tight around the chest. Ha oh, oh. ha. Holy crap. <laughs> my heart kind of... My heart's kind of starting to race now. In a different house, wearing different clothes with a different smell. Smell? I'm pretty sure it's clean. Should I get you something else? No, no. They don't smell. They smell like you, which makes me smile. Oh god, what am I saying? Oh, I forgot to mention. I only have one bed. The perfect number. <laughs> oh gosh! This story's gonna kill me! <clears throat> well then, right this way. What do you even say? After you. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Michelle, are you nervous? Not at all. We've slept together before, in the past. Oh yeah, I suppose we have. But this time feels different. My heart's pounding like crazy. <sighs> Even me, I'm like, should I be here? <laughs> I take it back. I'm nervous too. <laughs> hey, uh... Hold hands. Sure. <laughs> I want you to know I'm the happiest girl in the world right now. So happy I'm scared I'll wake up and it'll all be a dream. Or tomorrow will come and it'll all be torn away from me. I thought I was supposed to be the warrior bard. And you the eternal optimist. Normally. You have nothing to fear. I will never let go of this hand again. No vanishing on me or pushing me away or anything like that, okay? I promise. Let's make this happiness into something that lasts forever. You and me, together. No getting bored of me once I'm over the hill, either? I would never. Besides, I'll be making it there well ahead of you. <laughs> I expect you to grow up to be the classiest 40-something in town, and don't you forget it. I'll try not to disappoint you. Hey, Michelle. I love you more than anything in the world. Thank you so much for finding me in this life. And thank you for waiting so long and never giving up, both in this life and the last. Giselle, I love you too. Mm. Good night, Michelle. Gosh darn it. Oh! Wake up. Wake up, Michelle. Oh, so bright. I thought to shut the curtains. Oh, it glitched there for a second. It scared me. Morning, sleepyhead. 
just so. Good morning. Ah, uh, wait, forget that. Do over. Hmm? Ahem. Good morning, Master. I hope you slept well. <laughs> <laughs> I can say without a doubt I've never slept better, nor awoken to a more pleasant sight in my entire life. <laughs> Gosh darn it. It's so sweet. And so their happy ending continues on. <laughs> How could I still remember so much? Like It's like all the old feelings. It came back with all the music and everything. Interesting. So it's going to continue on. I kind of want to stop here because I, I wonder if it's going to be like more stories or if it's going to be like a really short story. I don't know. Oh gosh. You know what? Okay, we're gonna stop here. It might be a mistake, but let's just make this episode the Michelle and Giselle episode. If there's more, awesome. I can't wait to see the fates of uh, the other characters in their next life. And if it's short, I've been told there's more after, so it won't be a super freaky short episode. But man, let's just keep it for Giselle and Michelle right there. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm like crying, dang it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, it's like it all just comes back, you know? And with that music, that music is just, mwah, it's just so good. And it just like, it makes my heart just sore. It just makes me so happy. Oh, fetch, man. Oh my gosh. It's just <sighs> something else. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me for being able to enjoy this ride. And I hope you enjoy that half as much as I did because that was a freaking, oh, uh, I'm going to sleep so good tonight now. So I'm so grateful I got to play this game. I'm so grateful to whoever wrote this story. Whoever you are, you freaking geniuses. <sighs> so powerful. It's just so well written. It's so well written. I hope they get to find Morgana. I do hope Morgana gets a happy life. It'd be really cool to know that. You know, because she's my favorite character of all of them. As twisted and evil as she ended up being for a lot of it, like, she's still, like, the character I really... Like, Giselle, Michelle, and Morgana, like, those three are my favorites. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the patrons who continue to make content uh, for this channel possible. They help me just make it even greater in every way, shape, and form. I owe you guys a lot, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you to... Uh, oh yeah, before I move on, patrons, I need to do a patron cast. I think I need to make up an April one. I can't remember. Um, but I, with me getting so sick and everything, I totally forgot. So I might have to do uh, two patron casts uh, for this month. You know, one to, uh, like a late April one and then a May one. But I got some stuff I'd love to share with you guys. Uh, I got to go check the PO box too and say if anything showed up there though. I'm guessing you would have told me if you'd sent something just because it would, you know, be well wise decision to do so but it's still available for patrons if, if you if you ever wanted to like send something my way or like get something featured in the video like it's available for on the for, for patrons um uh, thank you to all my viewers though anyone who's just here i hope you enjoyed your ride with me i hope you enjoyed this story as always it's a pleasure having each and every one of you here i look forward to reading your comments hopefully you know, as tear-filled as me but <laughs> you know what no screw it i hope we're all having manly cries like manly tears the best manly tears. Like I'm still like kind of having a little bit of weepies here, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to have you share this journey with me, and I look forward to seeing what's coming up next. So thank you, and until next video, watching me up to see me next. I'll see you there. <laughs>